Building a super tall skyscraper in one of the most seismically active regions of North America is not easy. But with San Francisco's booming tech industry demanding ever more high-end office space, engineers had to develop ways to push buildings to new heights. Rising from the corner of First and Mission Streets in San Francisco's South of Market District is the city's tallest structure, the 326-metre, 1,070-foot Salesforce Tower. When the 853-foot, 260-metre Transamerica Pyramid completed in 1972, it joined the Golden Gate Bridge as a dominant feature on San Francisco's skyline. And with building heights capped at 550 feet in the 1980s, there was little to change the city's profile for over 40 years. But as pressure to densify and revitalise parts of the city has increased, and as the number of technology companies looking to establish headquarters in Northern California has risen, San Francisco's authorities have relaxed height limits in favour of taller buildings that benefit the public realm. In this case, the rezoning of land for the Salesforce Tower kick-started the 2.25 billion US dollar redevelopment of the adjacent Transbay Transit Centre, a transport hub for the Bay Area. The Salesforce Tower is the centrepiece of a wider redevelopment that includes direct connections to the Transit Centre and access to a 5.4-acre park on its roof. Designed by Pelly Clark Pelly Architects, the tower stands over 200 feet taller than the Transamerica Pyramid and provides 1.6 million square feet of office space across 61 storeys. 55% of the building is occupied by its main tenant, Salesforce. To construct a building of such height, on land that was reclaimed using landfill and in a region prone to earthquakes, engineers developed some of the largest foundations ever used in San Francisco. In total, some 42 foundation piles, each over 300 feet or 100 meters in length, were drilled into the underlying bedrock. On top of this, a 14-foot thick concrete slab extending across the tower's one-acre site was constructed. In total, the foundation slab contains over 2,200 tonnes of steel reinforcement and over 9,000 cubic metres of concrete. It took over 18 hours of pouring and the continuous flow of 1,300 concrete trucks to complete the slab, making it the second largest concrete pour ever carried out in the city, the largest being that for the Transamerica Pyramid back in the 1970s. From these foundations, a high-strength concrete core was constructed to support the building's steel frame. At design stage, the tower's superstructure model was subjected to 22 different virtual earthquake simulations, drawn from historical seismic data across the region. Based on the results of these simulations, the tower was designed with a high-strength reinforced concrete shear wall core, with walls up to 48 inches thick. This rigid spine, together with structural steel columns around the tower's perimeter, support its composite steel and concrete floors. The tower culminates in a nine-storey perforated metal and glass crown that dissolves its summit into the sky. The Salesforce Tower is a truly modern commercial workspace, with particular attention paid to the quality of its indoor environment and occupant well-being. With an advanced natural ventilation system, high-performance glazing, integrated louvers and the largest black water treatment plant in a US commercial building, the tower has been certified as LEED Platinum, becoming the highest rated commercial project in the United States. To improve the indoor environment and enhance well-being, the tower is divided into a series of three-storey vertical villages. The levels within these villages are linked by staircases that encourage movement and collaboration between teams. Each floor has its own social lounge, kitchen and breakout area, as well as a mindfulness zone where occupants can recharge and unwind. Additionally, all occupants have access to the building's 61st floor, which features a cafe and an exhibition space against a backdrop of panoramic city views. With the 800-foot, 181 Fremont Street, 
and the 900-foot ocean-wide centre, both currently under construction, the now-completed Salesforce Tower stands as the first in a new generation of skyscrapers rising across the San Francisco skyline. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.